welcome to the district. Mr. President, I've had to hide my love for you for a long, long time. Jenny got the honey. It's like he was like really nice and genuine, which you know it's crazy because he's such a superstar. But when I met you for the first time here, I didn't really like you, bro. Welcome to America, bro. You look suspicious to me. You know what I'm saying? You look like you're scheming. Making jewelry great again. And we need Trump man, outfit man forever, man. I mean, do you hate this man? Oh yeah. Yeah. Got you got you man, bro. You know, this night about politics. This man pardoned Kodak Black from prison. So the bill's gonna have a sniper on it. But no, Isabella's an exciting person to do business with. They gotta represent. We'll see if I have to use the back of my hand. I knew you were gonna hate something. I might get white wife. Example. It won't cut you. It will cut the star. I forgot to bring my team. Right now, my favorite rapper out is Kodak Black. Oh God, he's not what? Some other rappers, you know where they shop. They shop where the other rappers shop. To get the gremlin out of our lives, I got something to step up. A tracks move. A laser beam from outer space. That's what the jewelry business is all about. Sourcing materials, production. There's so many tire kickers and low lives in this business and in this world. That's really what this show is about. If I could pull this business off or not. And you're gonna see how I do it if I do. I hide nothing. I don't need to hide anything. I know how to use the truth as a weapon. This is not the reality that's scripted reality. This is indeed reality. See me? I my get white wife. <laughs> right now, my favorite rapper out is Kodak Black. So you know, you know, I love No Flock and Two is my one of my favorite tracks. I love some of the music that he makes. That's just the vibe and the way he delivers the, the information. So for me, it's the most exciting thing to be working with him. And you know, we got a lot of cool, uh, amazing, uh, you know, celebrity clients or what have you. But some other rappers, you know, where they shop. They shop where the other rappers shop. They come in. You know what I'm about to do. They come in with the uh, and then this, and then that, and that's, that's all good. You know, I don't want to be a hater, but I know where the business mind and mentality comes from, and it comes from sucker shit. Period. It is what it is. Because if you look at some of those other channels and how they look, to a real business person, to a real smart person, they look stupid. They look like they're going in, dumping money, and the, the jewelers smile. And, I'm, and I could rip some of these jewelers the fuck apart uh, because of what they're actually doing, how they're actually doing business. Nobody wants me to flip that light switch. Nobody wants me to flip that light switch because then they're going to see where they're at. They're all having an orgy in this dark fucking corridor somewhere. As soon as I flip that light switch, they all see each other and, like, ah! and they're all going to run for the hills. So at any point in time, I can and I will, but I don't want to. But nonetheless, I do have one fantastic client that just happens to be my favorite rapper and his name is Kodak Black. And you know what happened? I wanted to, but I, I, I came up with an idea just so, you know what happened with the, with the previous transaction was a catastrophe. You got Kodak, you got the producer, you got the model maker. You're worried about the money. I'm worried about people getting f***ing hurt. You got the enameler, you got the casting company, you got the marketing, you got the girl that puts the ads up, you got Instagram. You got your story and your album and your shit, but no one gave a f*** about my money, bro. I don't know where, I just got a call. Are you upset because you yeah. You, you got Mark Zuckerberg, you got Miami, you got Liv, you got HK Billy on stage with Kodak Black. And I had to get in the man's good graces. So I decided, you know, and I like politics and shit like that. And, uh, you know, he was freed from jail. Like, how could you be a fan of... He pardoned Lil Wayne, right? He pardoned Lil Wayne. He pardoned Kodak Black. He got ASAP Rocky out of jail in, uh, you know, in Switzerland or Sweden or something like that. And uh, God knows who else. Just those three things, there's nobody else that would have did that. Sorry, it is what it is. 
And you know, you could definitely hate Trump and all this and whatever the fuck they tell you on the media, so on and so forth. But if you're a fan of Lil Wayne or Kodak Black, freedom is a fucking serious deal. And you gotta respect it and you gotta appreciate it. I don't care who it is, that if somebody freed me from incarceration, I would owe, <laughs> it's a no brainer. I haven't been here four months. Four months? Really? It's been that long? Jeez. Has it? Yeah, I guess so. I feel like it's been like four months. Yeah. I'm Isabella. Yeah, I'm a personal jeweler here. I do customs, I do watches, I do anything you can imagine. But yeah, I love it here. Nice, nice. How could you not? Like, we have the freedom to do whatever we would like creatively. And obviously, everyone here is a crazy character in the best way. So I love it so much. We're gonna promote you actually. We're gonna put our gems on the thing. Okay, so remember yesterday we came for. Uh, to check out the opals. Yes. So I wanted to show you the chain itself so you could see, have an idea of what we're gonna do. Got it. All right, so this hole here is already made for it. Originally it was supposed to be like pearls, but then we switched, uh, the customer switched up oh. the idea and, and wow. the, the salesperson like, let's do opal, opals. All right, so let me pull some out and so you can take a look yeah. at it, okay? Yeah. So he was looking at more of the Like this, big I think. Ones, yeah, like yeah. That. So that's what you're looking for? Yeah, something like that. But they, they didn't dis decide it yet, exactly. But I, w I just gonna give you a brief idea like what it is, so. All right, so then here. Hey. That's what it's gonna look like. With the hole in the yeah, middle yeah, and everything. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't just drill the hole in the middle look like, like not if it was there. If for you, it would get a little bezel, drill it, so they'll hold and with a little diamond in the middle. Yeah, you're giving a, a different idea for the customer, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's I not know. a different idea. It's you see, if you are going to drill it, okay, mm -hmm. and you put it inside, and you drill that hole right through the the opal, you're gonna see that pattern. Oh no, but I don't want to do it all, like drill completely. I want it to be like dome. No problem, but yeah, see, but. even if you do drill it halfway so that it will be more or less, mm -hmm. what's going to happen is you're going to see the pegs. Yeah, yeah that's why I guess uh, yesterday, was it yesterday, right? Or the yes. day before yesterday. Nope. I, that's why I suggested suggested the darker, the, not the, the, the this oh, one, one, this one, um, some of these are like clear, like see-through, like the one that, that is more creamy, like these, it won't show the peg, like these, like right here. It will still show. It will still show? Yeah, Opal's has still a little, even though it's not a transparent stone, this one's here compared to those. Yeah, this is more transparent. You're drilling it halfway through, and that you automatically you're going to have a reflection through it. Mm. So if they, he doesn't mind that reflection, then you're good. Then I'm it's good. okay. But if he does mind that reflection, a food for thought would be just have a tiny little diamond in the middle, and that would be lasered onto that, and then you're you're done and then we'll be holding together yeah so it helps to hold the stone and then and as yeah. well as give the detail of that peg for being there mm -hmm. i'm just wondering when i do the laser it won't i gotta be careful not to hit the stone because it cracks no but see no. you're gonna do it another way let me see how this is set up yeah so you're gonna do it another way see first you're going to solder this to the diamond and the peg already Oh, uh, the backwards. Then, yeah, 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 backwards. And then yeah. you solder it right there, and then yeah, you don't yeah, have to hold it, do anything yeah. with the laser on the top. Backwards, the yes. That would be perfect. Yeah. I just, I just told them about the car, that you have a life-size. Yeah, we're doing the life-size one coming out soon. But we also not only do cars, we do sculptures. Co sculpture. Mm -hmm. So you, can you pull out the, the, the one that you already... Yeah, carving. We, we did a couple of them already. How long does it? How long does it take to do a life size? I know this is months, months, uh, maybe, uh, uh, maybe a two year. No, two more. That's yeah. fast. I'm thinking about a year. So here's one we did for a face for someone right now. We carved him. What type of stone is that? Uh, this all jasper, black jasper, jasper or white jasper. And then we just finished carving these uh, pipes. You want to see them? Oh, you have them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to show it to you right now. Hold on. So this is a pipe. Yeah, so here we're connecting it like well, this. I don't smoke, but 
Wow. And what is this made out of? This is the jasper. This one's jasper. This is an amethyst where you could smoke with a dragon. <laughs> okay. Where you could smoke with a lion. Or you could smoke with death in an emerald. I guess we're going to make one for Max with the tracks uh, logo or something, right? So Why not? I'm going to tell him I'm going to tell him your suggestion of putting the 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 peg and the Yeah, that's the if you're going to keep the pegs. If yeah, you yeah. don't keep the pegs, then you should do is a different way. So if I cut the peg, we could just glue it or whatever you well, epoxy, you're, no? You epoxy with a little hammering on the side, very hammer. little. And you could do it that way, but then in the inside, you could do is keep put a black enamel in the inside, and the opal will enhance even more. So paint the inside. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Perfect. Okay. So here's the rough room. We could we import the rough from all around the world. So you have like pink opal from Peru, or you have terminated quartz from Brazil. You have rainbow moonstone that comes from Africa, or you have chrysocolla, Chalcedonia. Wherever there's rough rain, so all the material that we use here is diamond. So for example, it won't cut you, but it will cut the star. <laughs> of course, it's a moving object. If your finger long enough, you know it happens, right? That's crazy. So come with me, come on. This is Jamuso, and he's uh, doing a machine cut piece. So he's cutting a blue topaz for a customer and he has to machine cut it into specific angles and shape. This process takes about like four to five years to learn because he has to memorize which gears match up with type of facet he wants to create. So right now he's polishing. So the same wheel to polish and then he goes back and cuts it as well. I know you want attention. <laughs> She's the security guard. <laughs> she's, she's not barking, not biting you guys. She must be good guys. So this is Capitão, and right now he is uh, shaping a design. Yeah, I was I was uh, telling him that this is a uh, called lapidary, like, right? But for diamonds, it's different. They don't call it lapidary, or it's the same thing. Same thing, it's a lapidary. It's a lapidary. But only specifically for diamonds. Yeah, because I know they cut it different. Tools yeah, tools, completely, completely different. different. Yeah. And then this is Jew, and right now he is, he's shaping a uh, onyx to fit into a ring. So right now he's cutting a diamond ring like this, and then he's going to fit an onyx in there. Yeah, how long you know me? Like, I don't know, like 10, 15 years? I don't know, like, from, from, from mid time before, yeah, right? Yeah, way, way back when. Yeah. Long time. Long time. That's why he's still in the industry. If he was not good, then he would get the hell out. Because yeah. he would have gotten to doing something <laughs> else. No, in this industry, you can't be second. You have to be good. Or else, you can't do it. And he's one of the best. Thanks. <laughs> okay, I see you. I see you. Like, we have a commercial for McDonald's now. Mickey D's. Anything? What do you have in this box? No. You're putting on a fucking dog no, no, no. pony show with. Oh, this is a diamond chain that you're working on. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to cut um, opals. We're gonna cut. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, now we're in business. This is gonna be a dope chain that they're making right here. Bro. That's cool. That's cool as f can't wait to show it off. Wow, look at that lock too, that's cool. Yeah, it's a lot we could do, you know what I'm saying? But the opal chain is gonna be sick. Congrats to Ivan and the crew to make this happen.
out of nowhere, it's a three way call and Kodak on it. And I'm just like, what's going on here? He's like, yeah, I want to see the gremlin piece. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. not again with that gremlin sh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is part two from that Miami trip. So I guess Max and Derek chopped it up and he wanted a new sniper gang pendant. So I've seen a lot of them all over. You know, everybody be selling the sniper gang pendants. We wanted to make a difference. So we're probably making the most, I want to say, eccentric, most different, most unique sniper gang pendant we've ever seen. We're going to have clusters of different size pointers in the SG. 10 pointers all around and it's gonna have a bunch of little I want to say like five pointers in the middle but it's gonna hit hard it's probably gonna be the biggest piece ever so Derek when you see this you're gonna love this bro it's just gonna be iced out it's gonna be crazy you didn't see the bill did you no I didn't see the bill it's a sniper bill so the bill's gonna have a sniper on it as well and so the area code for Broward County is 954 so we made sure to keep the 954 in there as well they gotta represent all the stones are gonna go in and oh. right here, baby. Damn, pop them right in. <laughs> and then you cut that and we'll show a finished piece like this now. <laughs> That's it. These guys found it hilarious. I've been working 18 years to get to a star like Kodak Black and he's been hitting 10 seconds working here. So this is the Sniper Gang piece. We're making one more, right? Yeah, we're making one more. One more for Derek and uh, one for Kodak. So Derek is the producer. So how we first got this whole transaction happening is back, if we bring it back to November, Rolling Loud, New York, he just messaged me out of the blue. He, he's like, hey, listen, I know you work at Trax. Can I get a tennis chain? I'm like, of course, it's not a problem. He's like, but here's the thing, I need it in five days because Rolling Loud is coming and I need it for the concert. And I was like, of course, let's make it happen. He came, he picked it up, he loved it. Then we know the whole situation with the gremlin, but we won't get into that. So eventually we had a gremlin. And from the Gremlin, Super Gremlin came out. For us, it was a great idea to show it to him. He's like, I loved it. The, the, the story is this. I'm a fan of Kodak Black. There's a lot of people's music that's whatever, or I, you know, I listen to it, or I listen to their hits. But when Kodak comes out with a, he's the only rapper, him and Lil Wayne, are the only ones where they're gonna come out with some shit and I'm gonna go log on and look at that shit. I'm not doing that shit for a lot of other rappers. I do have a quick story though. Yes. Max, you might not remember this. No. Five years ago, I came on this block uh -huh. and I came to track. Yeah. And you interviewed me. Yeah, I did? If you were upstairs at Fort <laughs> Oh, wow, floor. interesting. And that's a, that's uh, a doozy right there. So I came in. And I didn't give you a job, huh? He told me. We had a whole interview and he's like, you're not ready to work here. And that sat with me for five years. Wow. <laughs> he sat me down, asked me about my sales experience and everything. And I was like, I have a little bit of jewelry experience, this, that, and the third. And he's like, he told me, and I quote you, I don't think you're cut out to work here right now. <laughs> Get, gain some experience and then come back. <laughs> wow. Five years later, I'm sitting next to the man and we have a sniper gang pendant in our hand. That is Kodak. gangster, bro. I, I appreciate that, bro. You see what a good advice I gave the man, bro? It was crazy. Full circle moment. Welcome back to Tracks, guys. Just in time for summer. These beautiful rings just coming out. Baguettes, emerald cuts, channel set, big diamonds. Here at Tracks, New York City, 64 West 47. Just screenshot whichever ring you like. You can live chat with the boys or DM me direct. The number's up there and I'll get you that ring out today. All sizes, all color gold, rose gold, white gold, yellow gold. Here at Tracks, New York City, come through today. When I met you, you know, like, I don't remember you. Yeah. But when I met you for the first time here, I didn't really like you, bro, because I thought you looked suspicious to me. You know what I'm saying? You looked like you were scheming. But you turned out to be a good guy. But um, uh, I was wrong. And I admit that. And you know, that's a weird business story. Everything about the whole shit was it. From, from the gremlin to this to that to us ending up, that is a wild, crazy, kooky fucking story. But the sniper gang piece, is the next move in that saga. So that is gonna go down. We got two sniper gangs and we got a special mystery surprise pendant that's gonna blow you away that we can't even tell Jelani. Because it is on, it's gonna be such a shocker. It's I wanna really, it's gonna be something interesting that we're doing. Do you know what I'm talking I about? I have no clue. You don't even know, all right. So it's between me and Mickey and we're working on that. To get the gremlin out of our lives, I got something to step up, a tracks move. 
a laser beam from outer space. Two sniper gangs and that piece. And we're gonna sit here and we're gonna try to do business again. Let's do it. All right. This time you won't kick me out of the office. No, I don't think I will. Well, listen, you never know, bro. That was a little sneaky thing to say. Maybe I was right all along. Oh, man. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> See you on the next episode. You know what we're, we're building for Kodak? No. Um, I'm gonna try to make him a Trump head. Yeah. To replace the, so I feel like the gremlin head. Kind of it's gonna be a surprise and we'll see his reaction. Yeah. Maybe he's gonna like it, bro. I mean, it's just, it's a free piece of jewelry. We want the joint in the mouth. Yep. Trump head. And that's it, look at all the shit is hitting in here, right? With the yellow gold. The yellow gold and the platinum, damn. It's all a dream, I used to read Word Up magazine. What's up, guys? How are you doing? Good. How you doing? Any chance to put the joint in the mouth? Yeah, I got to get the joint in the mouth, the Trump piece, but I, it's all about the expression in the face of the Trump. And it has to have the making Amer Make America Great Again hat. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Instead Stone of, is enough. Huh? Stone is in the, in the cap. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's just geeky. all enamel. Maybe we're going to do glow in the dark or whatever it is. Yeah. And maybe we'd, we'd see the model, maybe we'd think about putting stones in it, but you know, the lettering is a headache, I don't want to even do that. Stones on the joint again though, right? Yeah, the stones on the joint. The same as the three inch? Same size as the... Okay. As the yeah, but he wants some expression, something different? I'm just it's gotta be, it, it's gotta hit, bro. That's it. We don't know what expression, but when you make a model of a face, it cannot be like... Yeah, I mean... This face, it's gotta, it's gotta have a little something Trump, some personality to it. All right, well, that's it for me. So yeah, this was the gift for Kodak right here. Uh, well, this is the wax version. Now, you know, like, there's some haters in the comments. Politics are politics. I mean, do you hate this man? I don't hate him. You don't hate him, good. All right, I mean, I certainly don't. I have a different perspective on the politics of the matter. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's not about politics. This man pardoned Kodak Black from prison. How are you gonna hate on that if you're a Kodak Black fan? How are you gonna hate on it? Did you rather have no other president was pardoning any rappers from prison that I remember? I don't remember JFK and Nixon or Obama or anybody else pardoning any rappers from prison when when there's so many people to that should be pardoned from prison that need a chance. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's not a bad precedent. That's not a bad example. It shouldn't be about Kodak Black. There's probably about 100,000 people that should be released today and given a chance to install solar panels and do some other shit if anybody cared about anybody. But nobody does. But this is what we did, and this is how we lived it, and this is how we did it. Especially in today's economy when this country's about to in, nearing collapse because of what's going on, I personally miss this guy. So you got my favorite rapper, you got this. So I decided to make and surprise Kodak with a Donald Trump head. Mr. President, I've had to hide my love for you for a long, long time. You're the only thing that uh, was straightforward. You're a real straightforward businessman with decades of business experience of, you know, dog fighting with these motherfuckers and you, you really stood up for this country while all these, these people, they're all their, their warm talks and all this other, sh uh, you know, programs and this and that that don't amount to shit, that betray this country and the hypocrisy that they engage in and the corruption that they engage in and they had the nerve to stand up to you with all these lies and allegations ukraine russia hoax one russia hoax two you know that you know the spiel you don't need to hear this all, all i want to tell you is that here in new york city in the diamond district you have a friend right here from the heart 
Um, and that was, you know, for the sake of marketing. You know, I want to market my business. I want to work with Kodak Black. We were making the sniper gang pieces to make moves with this guy. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? I got the opportunity to go and deliver this piece uh, along with the, you know, the sniper gang pieces to Kodak when he was in New York. So basically, um, you know, it was a big day. Max, was, Max came in and he was like, oh, like, Kodak Black might be picking up the Donald Trump piece today or we might be delivering it. I'm like, okay, cool. And usually, you know, Mickey is the one filming, but he was out of town. So I was like, this is my chance. So, you know, I got right on it. I got the Donald Trump finished and everything. And um, once it was all done, he was supposed to come here to Trax um, in the mezzanine. But, you know, he was tired or whatever. He had some things to do. So then we actually ended up going to his hotel room and delivering it to him. You know, have your goals. But I can always take care of any client, small or big. Jenny got the honey. <laughs> Very special. Very nice. <laughs> exactly. Different flavors, different preferences. And I see you dressed up for Kodak Black today. <laughs> We're going to be putting on a burlesque show later yeah, on this evening. He does that every day though, after 6 o'clock, so if you guys want to tune in. Let's say it for the extra fuse. Yeah. Me and my little crew, we're on our way to go and make this drop. We're, we, you know, when you're dealing with these types of, of celebrities and clients, you got to sit there, work around their schedule, and that's it. You know, this is a, you know, like a, a cultural icon to me. You know, he's a, it, the music he's delivering is consistent. This is a serious guy. This isn't a one-hit wonder or whatever. So we're in the, long story short, we're in the lobby of this hotel waiting to go up to the suite. Casual Friday. Tune in to Jenny's OnlyFans. <laughs> 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 18 plus. You have to have a valid credit card. You know, who's just checking in? You. Yes, we're gonna see Kodak. Yay. And uh, we come up to the suite. I'm hanging out with the DJ, and I see Kodak in a dark room, sitting on the corner of his bed, <laughs> brushing his hair like this. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, let, let the man do whatever he wants. So it was really crazy to just like be, you know, like talking with him, interacting with him, delivering a chain to him. His actual first sniper gang piece pendant, he was like really like, proud of it because his friends had some but he actually didn't have one so it was his first piece um sniper gang so yeah it was really nice the moment to wear showing this to this man is going to be very interesting i don't want to say too much cool all right so you and your man derek are fantastic dudes i got you the same one if you don't mind <laughs> All right, they're both pretty much the same. You can choose right, one. Yeah, you're <laughs> which one? Which one is the one for you? I mean, I had to upgrade his piece. You know, I saw Man, this. Yeah, yeah, put that on top of it. Yeah, I was embarrassed, you know, with to see that, so I wanted to pop him off a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this is with glass. So this one's yours. Yeah. Yeah, this is the same shit. This is the same <laughs> shit. All right, whatever it is, well, listen, hope for you, hope for you. I forgot to bring my tennis. No, yeah. Well, we got uh, well, I got a tennis for you, bro. You want to? He was definitely icy. You know, he definitely had a couple chains on. He had, like, a nice Richard, Richard Mill on. Like, it was really nice. So, um, so yeah, so then he, like, just came up to us. At first, he was like, who are these people? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like who are, like, what are they doing here? But then, like, you know, after a while, like, we were warmed up. You know, we gave him his piece, like he saw that we were like really genuine because, you know, obviously whatever happened in the past happened, but you know, that was all done for. Um, we were just all interacting, I asked him for a picture, he was like, of course, like he was like really nice and genuine, which, you know, it's crazy because he's such a superstar, you know what I mean? And he has been for a while. Uh, you pop that on? So there's little details on that shit. If you see on the sniper, it's a 954 zip code for Broward County. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I see. Yeah. 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 I was embarrassed for a minute. No, no, no. Anyway, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the way it's supposed to be. We just wanted to 
update the wrong way to the right way and set that up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit is hitting and killing. Yeah. And I kind of, you know, wanted to do it with the with the different size stones, different style, right up in here. Let's see what's up. So you'd know, you know what I'm saying, what it looks like when you're really popping off right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, the, 20 inches, I can't ever see it. It's like, sniper game. It's a main sniper thing was, game. if it's sniper game, we gotta put a sniper on no, it. No, not for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished right here. <laughs> Appreciate you, bro. Nah, for real. Appreciate you, man. We, get, we were chilling for a while. You know, he's smoking black and milds. You know what I'm saying? Ash it on the floor. Doing whatever the f he wanted. Chilling. The private jet is waiting to take him to Atlanta. Fueled up. The pilot is waiting. Uh, the sprinter van downstairs is waiting for them, but everybody's waiting. And we're just sitting there chilling. And then I pop out and I got him with the Trump piece and he was shocked. So this is gonna be Kodak's new yeah, piece. We see, we see his reaction to it. So, we need to get this piece right here, a little something. Oh, shit, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have I didn't have time to enamel it. You know, I was gonna make the hat red and shit, but yeah, you snap, mate. This is it. Oh, go, you snap. I swear to God, you snap. I swear to God, you snap. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm making. You know what I'm saying? This. To get you a nice little piece, you know? Yeah, so together. Like, Y'all just spent 20 minutes from each other and shit, you know what I'm saying? You really dead, baby, but f***ing you know, eat down. Briarwood is a lot tougher neighborhood than Palm Beach, right? Or am I crazy? We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna say that. We ain't gonna say that about Palm Beach, that. Where's Trump located? Right he lives in Palm Beach or Palm Springs? That's why we know where I'm from. That's what's up. Palm Beach, where you visit me in Broward and shit like that. It's like, I'm saying different sections, like they big. Brown like in the middle it's like Brown Did you immigrate from Haiti with your parents or you were born in Brown? What about your parents? Oh yeah, my people, my people born in Haiti. My mama came out of the like 17 and shit. And then I got uncles and aunties who were born in America. My mama and oldest who were born in America. And then I got my uncle and aunties who were born in America. They call it super like him too crazy. That 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 Richard looks fantastic on you. I mean this this ain't good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got some good friends. They got some good friends. They got some good friends. Yeah, 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 yeah, they're gonna go with that. We'll go inside a building with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. With that sniper, when you put on all this crazy beast, it's gonna stand out. Yeah. Yeah. A brick on what? Yeah. Make it heavier, you say? Kilo. Oh, kilo chain. Yeah, yeah. Well, kilo chain's probably gonna be too big for that piece. This like this like a three. Yeah, 500 gram chain might, if it might fit, yeah, it's kind of even like a 300. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like a 250, 300. But if anything, you know what I'm saying, we we'll make a bigger one. I was gonna say you made a bat piece bigger or something. Yeah, it pops open. That 500 steel, we feel those. Yeah, it's got a good snap to it. 500 steel. I'll show you exactly how to do it. Like, so basically, you want to get it pop this this way and pop that that way. This time. It it's got a good, it's got a good snap to it, but that snap will wear down. <laughs> if you only really want to keep it chain on and keep it on, because gold will warp and it'll soften, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then eventually, it'll just fuck oh, <laughs> unless you. Right, let's side by side. Yeah. <laughs> you put a light on? Yeah, yeah, side by side. That shit is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's when I saw it. I, I saw an opportunity to yeah. stunt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. because I saw right. I could do the upgrade. I mean, it's, right. a, it's a variety, of different size stones, it's different look. Right there, that's what it is. You snooping? Oh yeah, yeah. I appreciate you that. Yeah. You can't hold it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, tennis. Big pointers on that. Oh shit! Like the whole shit pointers, boy. Yeah. It's an yeah, upgrade. Yeah. It's a little upgrade. Yeah, it could yeah, be way better. It could yeah, be way slower. Yeah, you know what it is? You go scared of the shit. Yeah, you. 
But he snapped with the pistol on top of He want the sniper on the 954 with the sniper on top of it. But listen, we. Nine five four, all them nigga shit. Nine five four, all nigga shit. Nine five four, all nigga. 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 Nine Hits are coming. So this is the video review of the Make America Great Again. President number 45, Donald Trump head with the joint in its mouth. Really nice bail, right? So you could put the perfect Cuban in here. It's really a gold collectible. Um... You know, gold investment piece, all solid gold, just diamonds in the eyes. People have their own opinions. We respect other people's opinions. Kodak Black, another great dude. So we've got this piece, and if you want to own it, you could. It's an amazing piece on tracksmyc.com. If you want a Joe Biden piece, we'd probably make you one, but you probably don't want one. <laughs> Russian and Korean motherfuckers, they out they president for the bitch. That's just they president, you heard me? We need Trump to just rock out, man. Trump the best thing for America, you heard me? For sure. Trump the best thing for America, man. I respect that boy Elijah. His whole little setup is over right now. Even if he ain't free, man. Like, if Trump just that goat, is he shit? And if Trump was in office, he would have went to go get Britain already from Russia. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. The is like this here, right? When you got, when you got a in office, right, for like only four years, like that ain't enough time for a nigga to run their play and like the shit that they got to do. If him so by the time they get done, now another motherfucker get in office and he f shit up and he, you know what I'm saying? Man, give my dog a little more time to do what he trying to do, man, for this world. I've been a jeweler for a long time and I, it's always been the big dream. You know, shout out to Ben Baller to be working with those celebrities like Ben Baller was when I was a young dude coming up. And I had to work, and I had to work my way. You know, like I started out with some people that just got, happened to be on World Star. These dudes, I'm not gonna mention the name because they, they, they looked down on me back then. You know what I'm saying? They looked down on me like they were lit. You know, I had like 50,000 followers. They had like 160 or three, 400,000 doing some shit on World Star, working with a lot of people, you know, lower the, the lower rung in the celebrity ladder. But I don't got a big ego, you know, whatever. Climbing, 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 and now I'm, a, I guess, guess I'm at the top of it. Kodak Black, Joyner Lucas, you know, Adam Sandler, you name it, you know what I'm saying? That's really what it was. And we just did the drop to Kodak Black, which is one of my personal favorites. You know what I'm saying? An amazing, you know, rapper. We're really creative shit, not some corny bullshit, not a one-hit wonder. The surprise was um, uh, the Donald Trump head. That was an idea. I wanted us to get his reaction to it, see how he'd feel about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we manufacture jewelry. It's business. You know, when you're watching this, people are, oh, the clout, or the shut the f up, man. It's strictly business. The man got pardoned by the President of the United States. He likes pendants. He had the this. He had the gremlin. He had this. He had that. Let me see. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he'd like the Trump just to have. You know, what if someone you're walking down and you're expecting the sniper gang pieces, which we made for him, an updated sniper gang joint for him, and then we pop out with the Trump head. He loved it. He had a fantastic time. He said he watches my videos or is a fan of my shit. You know what I'm saying? Which was, it goes over my head. I don't even really comprehend what that really even means when a guy like that says that. Then, you know what I'm saying? I hope I get to develop a business relationship with him so I could, uh, you know, have the prestige for my brand and to have these celebrities and do all this stuff. I hope I get to do business with Donald Trump and make it happen and lock it in because I'm a reasonable, logical thinker. And you could see the quality of people, and this guy, you know what I'm saying, he's, he's fun to be around. He's, you know, he's Kodak Black. Making jewelry great again. <laughs> I'm going to the Long Island, I'm going to the Hamptons. Oh, you're going to the Hamptons? Yeah, yeah, I got, a, no, I got a little spot over there, and uh, I want to hang out. Fine.
Okay. Got a little spot over there. Got a little spot. Okay. For the weekend, you know, just to chill out, see what's up, get out of the city for a little bit. Yeah, that's much needed. Trying to enjoy the summer. Yeah, yeah, well, much well, deserved, much deserved. Yeah, but no, Isabella's an exciting person to do business with. I'm, uh, she already, you know, hit the ground running, had some serious clients. She's making some, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. We'll see if I have to use the back of my hand. I knew he was going to say something. He's always going to say something. All right, Isabella. All right. Later. Bye. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend.